All right, so for those of you just tuning in, we're about to do some 4v4 Pathblood between me and the Beerworks. It should be pretty fun, uh, because, well, we never really do scenarios uh, for my channel, so I figured we would do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of Pathblood to try and, I guess, mix it up just a teeny bit. Uh, these guys have no idea what their skill level is. I don't anticipate this being remotely balanced teams in the slightest. Uh, <laughs> This should be pretty fun. If you don't know what Pathblood is, I'll be briefly explaining it, but keep in mind, I haven't played Pathblood in like three years, so... Uh, basically what you have to do is you have to use the Petard to blow up one of these nifty little palisade walls, uh, and then you get to spawn whatever unit uh, is behind these walls. So, you blow this up right, and then uh, the Plumed Archer, which is the unit I've chosen. Why? Because I chose the Britons as my Sith. Uh, this Plumed Archer is going to continually run down to this area. And then if he stands on the, uh, the torches, then that unit will spawn in my base. And then from getting unit kills, I can blow up each of these palisade walls to unlock more units. Uh, notice that there's Genghis Khan over here, and he's really OP, so if you get that, you kind of win. I know you're thinking, who the hell is this Rambit Megatron unit, right? Uh, Rambit Megatron, if he's standing in the center of the map, he gains attack over time. Seems that people are confused. Blow up the wall. Pick a unit. I don't know what they're doing, so I'll stop for a second here. So what do you want to do? Use pal use uh use petard to blow up palisade on island behind you. Then move the unit onto the torches to spawn it. Hey, it looks like they figured it out. Fantastic. So yeah, if you're in the Megatron, uh, your, your, temp, your master of the temple or whatever the hell uh, is in the, standing in the center hill, he gains attack over time. None of this does not work for uh, anything else. But yeah, looks like they figured this shit out. Now, if you, if you blow up a uh, uh, gate or the enemy towers, you get raisings, which... Uh, oh yeah, my units are no attack stance, right, because I was trying to... Uh, if you lose your tower, you lose, and this tells you how many kills you have. Uh, yep. Every time you get enough kills, your units will uh, get another pet's right in the back, and you get to unlock another unit. It's really important that you pick your units wisely, obviously, you know, the champion is just generally not a great idea, but he's good against eagle warriors, but you could always pick the jaguar warrior, right? So yeah! <laughs> and if you lose your tower, you lose. So it's really just about smart unit choices and making sure that you're in the right place at the right time, and I can't help but notice my frame rate is invisible. But, uh, yeah. Like, you ideally want to be taking uh, smart matchups, right? So, sending Jagger Warriors uh, at the Eagle Warriors is a good idea. And Blue uh, Archers is a good idea if you pick the Britons. Uh, Civ choice is pretty important to this as well. Like, you want to make sure that you pick a Civ that has some sort of bonus for your unit. Like, uh, Mongols are really, really good on this map because, you know, you've got all those uh, heavy cab archers over here. You've got Subotai, which is also a super heavy cab archer. Uh, and he. Uh, get, gets more attack speed because of the Mongols. And the Britons are nice because your foot archers get more range, which means the Plumed Archers are pretty OP. Uh, the Japanese are pretty good. They make all of your infantry really, really strong. The Celts make them a teeny bit faster, although it's not that useful. The Vikings give them all more health. So you generally want to pick from those civs. Uh, and picking your first few units is important. Uh, you pick the right ones and you, you find the right matchups. Jaguar Warriors kind of get destroyed by Plumed Archers, but <coughs> Jags is a nice. Uh, idea if you predict the enemy's going to lose. Eagles are the counter to plumes. Uh, so, that one is really fun. Yeah, yeah, there's like a max of 80 pop, but you, you only get like 40 guys at a time. I haven't lost any units in forever, uh, which I think is pretty funny. Uh, I anticipate this match is not going to be that close. Because, well, no one knows what they're doing. It's not really paid plot fun, but uh, I wanted to add a little bit of variety so you guys can see some of my favorite scenarios. Uh, what you definitely shouldn't do is attack the walls with your units unless your units are uh, particularly buff. The thing is, here is I'm, I'm kind of surrounded, which I don't want to be, but at least I can take inflammation advantage. Rabbit Megatron a little bit more attack, and then we're going to run away. 
I'm probably going to get surrounded here. I would run, except I do kind of want to give my opponents a sort of a fighting chance. I, I want this to be kind of fair for them, so... Uh, don't try... Don't... Oh, God. I think this one is going to lose is... Uh, this Templar over here, if he's not careful of you, I do want to keep that thing alive as much as possible. I don't know why this, this game is running so badly. It looks like handback is... Zero FPS. My Steam name is Resonance 22. Oh, he's actually getting a surround on. Uh, but yeah, Elmay Hammer Strike, I'll play with you uh, outside the stream. Just send me a friend invite. Uh, but if your Steam name is not the same as your Twitch name, I will not accept it because I'll have no idea who the hell you are. Now, ideally, a, a, a good strategy. Now, I can't really do it here because this game is lagging so badly. Ambex has like two FPS. This is absurd. Uh, ideally, what you want to do is micro is very important uh, when you play this match. Play this map. Uh, like. So if you're sending a bunch of, like, Jaguar Warriors or someone sending, like, Jags or something uh, to kill my tower right now, which they're doing, one thing you have to be concerned of, right, is if you're if you're making a beeline for the enemy tower, you're going to be feeding the enemy a lot of kills. That is part of it. Oh, there's, uh, there's Rambit Megatron, unfortunately. He's surrounded and he's got uh, severe advanced Parkinson's he refuses to run. But what you can do is you can back up your archers, right, and you can surround your tower uh, to block the... Uh, to block the enemies from getting surrounded your tower. And one thing you have to note is that if you're like trying to you know go in here and just dive the tower, you are gonna probably give your enemy a lot more kills. So you only want to go for the tower when you can. Yeah, Laxatory, it's a fun map. I like it a lot more uh, than CBA. So I think there's a lot more strategy to this, because in CBA, if you just have a shitty Sif matchup compared to the enemy team, then uh, you screw. Up. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, have an, I have another pet turret now, so I could go for King Arthur. He's really buff. Another, another fun thing about Path Blood, right, is that if you go for, like, King Arthur or something like that, it's going to give you really strong early game. You're going to have much stronger units than everyone else, but uh, it's going to make the late game for you a lot worse. Like, as the game drags on, you're going to have a huge disadvantage. Uh, because, yeah, your opponents have already, like, if you go through the... Uh, or left side, you're, you're already making more progress towards being as calm. Than your so you're like two petards behind in that in that respect. And the thing is, right now, is that Zolano has like jack squat kills. He needs to go kill some more junk. Now, I'm gonna go with uh, what side? Oh, Robin Hood is, is over here. Well, that's unfortunate. I do kind of want Robin Hood, kind of badly. I probably shouldn't have picked Britons in retrospect, actually, but uh, I do want Robin Hood in this game. And since this is kind of a fun match, I'm not really going to uh, worry too much about this. But I do kind of want Robin Hood. Robin Hood with the Britons is pretty fun. Uh, and then, you know, maybe after that, if I get really fed, I'll just you know, try and push my way around uh, the left side so that I can get to Genghis Khan. Well, William Wallace is all fine and dandy, but <clears throat> I didn't pick like the Japanese or anything, so my William Wallace is not that strong. Mamluks are really good, obviously, but uh, I picked Britain, so I'm rolling with the foot archers today. Oh, Paladins. Oh, no. Okay, well, I gotta be a little careful here. Looks like Ambak is quite spooky. Now, I would like to... Okay, like, I prefer Pathblood Heroes a little bit more to this, uh, just because Pathblood Heroes has, I think, a little bit more strategy, although I might just mod the Pathblood map myself, mostly because the, the tower is supposed to have, like, plus 100 attack. It's really uh, discourage your opponents from just basically feeding you kills, even though they are still feeding me kills. Uh, I like that. I also like that uh, in Pathblood Heroes, you also have a, a Genghis Khan that you spawn at the start, which is which gains stats over time, uh, and yeah, the longer you keep it alive, the, the better things go. Have a lot of pet turns now. Oh, I have Robin Hood now. Oh boy. Also, keep in mind that any units that you have in the back of your base uh, on this island, they take a population. So you want to delete the ones that you have no intention of using, and I have no intention of using this boat raider, so he's deleted. Which means I get see more plumed archers. I think scenarios are really fun in AoE 2. I don't play them that often, uh, but I think they are fun. Teslano should stop sending his Jaguar Warriors just into me. He should, again, like, you gotta take matchups that are good for you, although I guess, uh... King Arthur isn't too much better. Uh... But he's at least still infantry. I don't know. It's worthy, he's feeding me a lot of units. Where's my Robin Hood? 
There's my Robin Hood. You are mine! I also have Elite Cataphracts, which are pretty cool too. Uh, if you pick a sieve with Bloodlines, Elite Cataphracts are very strong. Very, very strong. I know, I know about all these scenarios, God's Knight. I've played them all a million times. Uh, I might play PTO or something at some point. We'll see. I don't play CBA that much anymore, because I'm of the opinion that uh, CBA was much better before. Uh, I like the 2006 CBA a lot more. Uh, before they added all these rules, I thought CBA was way more fun when you could build, like, onagers and crap, and there were no limits on towers and no rules at all. I thought that was what it was really fun. I think they've stifled a lot of the, uh, the fun part of it when they tried to, like, restrict it too much. I also don't like how, uh, if you just get a bad sieve, you're basically fucked in CBA. <laughs> if you have, like, bad sieves compared to the enemy, you're kinda screwed. Anyway, I've got Robin Hood now, I'm pretty buff. Uh, cause Tislano, for some reason, is just streaming Jaguar Warriors into my base, I'm not sure why. Well, these guys have been... These guys need to... ...be pushed off the center. My goodness. Gringer's Paladin isn't very good. Uh, Alexander Nevsky is good. Yeah, so I'm gonna start pushing on that side. Uh, try and get Khan at some point. Ah, okay, so Tislano has gone to Paladins. Knee twisty. Yes. See if we can, uh, see if we can win this match. We do need to get the, uh, we do need to get the enemy, uh, off the center. Smosh Blood still, though, is easily one of my favorite scenarios. I think Smosh Blood is a lot of fun. Mass <laughs> Robin Hood's is pretty OP. Especially as the Britons. Although, in retrospect, I, uh, I'm used to Path Blood, uh, perfection, uh, fuck with heroes and other versions of Path Blood where the units are in different positions. I'm used to Robin Hood being on the right side. I thought I could go... Robin Hood is usually where the Elite War Wagon is, uh, and the other versions that I'm used to playing, so I thought by picking the Britons I could go in the plumes, and then I could start working down this side, get Robin Hood pushed down here, and then, you know, get, uh... Get Genghis Khan, but that is not the case. I am apparently mistaken. This is a slightly different version. Obviously, this map is also a lot more fun if you uh, if the game is running at a reasonable speed. It appears to be not running at a reasonable speed. I'm getting fed so hard by Tizlana right now. <laughs> yep, if your tower gets destroyed, you do lose. We did finally get them off the center, though. That's kind of nice. I don't have my, uh... My Rambit Megatron anymore, and he's the guy who made this map, by the way. However, I am looking forward to killing this... Oh yeah, it also gets more HP if he's in the center as well. I also think that uh, Gang the Genghis Khan that you start with in Pathblood Heroes as well is also a nice win condition that balances this out a little bit more. Because uh, if the game drags on too long and you use your Khan really carefully, you can really make some plays and really do some serious damage to the enemy towers. So. I like Pathblood Heroes a bit more, uh, most certainly. Now, something that's risky here, uh, as you may have noticed, is that I'm leaving my tower unattended, so he's gonna get some Paladins in. Uh, ideally, you don't do that, but I am in such a huge advantage at this point that I don't really give a fuck, but still suboptimal, I guess. And uh, you can see I'm using my units right here to body block uh, the enemy. Oh shit, yeah, Bill Marinius has William Wallace. It's really bad. Did not know he had William Wallace right now. William Wallace is like the second strongest unit in the game, but uh, going for him is very risky because, well, you know, if you push through all these and you get William Wallace, you're really far away from Genghis Khan, who's like a free win. Basically, with Genghis Khan, you can just uh, blow down these walls and just go straight for the tower. Now, yeah, Pathblood Heroes, every unit is a hero. I think Pathblood Heroes, just in general, uh, is better. I prefer the older versions of most scenarios, honestly, before uh, Boobly tried to make them more competitive, I guess. Oh, he is saboteur as fuck. He might blow my walls down. That would be unfortunate. Eh, my walls are okay. Because I think that a lot of the scenarios, I guess, are kind of meant to be stupid. So I like CBA back when there were, like, no restrictions. <laughs> very, very few. Now there's too many rules. I, I want to be able to build as many uh, darn towers as I want to. Look, okay, those are elite samurai, not no one got. Yeah, that's fine. I'm getting like a two v one over here. This is about the rest of my team uh, doing. I hope that uh, 
Is it Charlemagne? Oh, Charlemagne. Okay, not bad. Delta should swap his units. Uh, I think he's aware of that. Looks like he has swapped his units. Yeah, William Wallace is strong with this one. Usually when you get William Wallace, you can just go for the throat and you can just destroy their turrets. Uh, but... The only reason I like Pathblood Hero is better than normal Pathblood, because otherwise I would like normal Pathblood better, is because you don't have a Genghis Khan at the start. No. I think that makes the game a lot more in-depth. And you also, your turret's a lot weaker than this. I like it when it has like 100 plus attack. Also, in Pathblood Heroes, you have three monks back here, which can heal up your, uh, your Rambit Megatron. Which I thought was cool. Uh, as well, it heals your units. Uh, I thought that was nice. The reason you don't have monks in this, though, is uh, because, you know, you can't convert heroes, but... So the monks are only for healing. It's more balanced that way. Okay, so he's getting 3v1s. Yes. I am coming, buddy! Usually, if you're gonna leave your base to go assist somebody, you wanna use your units to try and stand still and, like, block it. Uh, but... Yeah, I haven't played Pat in years, so... That, and this match is running like shit. Wow, yeah, yeah, there's actually a gap there. That is really bad. Hopefully I can pull some of these guys back in time to body block. Yeah. I'm gonna try and get on that hill. <laughs> it is lagging so badly. Cavalier and uh, whoever else was thinking earlier needs a need better PC. Better PC. Yeah, this is a team game. Yeah, it's a 4v4. Mamluks. None of these units are really better than Robin Hood, except uh, Subutai is strictly better than Robin Hood. So I will swap this up that when I get him. Subutai. He's got much less range. But these Mamluks are not strictly better. I don't have bloodlines, so your Civ choices are important. Very, very important. So I have to be careful because Ambact is doing a lot of damage to my town center. Uh, certainly, so I have to make sure that I, I maintain the body block. These are my units as makeshift shields, uh, so that you cannot get in. Uh, it's really hard. I've never played this this match with. I've never played Pathblood uh, with this much lag. But normally, you have to be pretty careful with how you position your units. Oh, he's in big trouble. Yay, okay, it looks like, uh... Yes. I do have to be careful with keeping my base unattended. I wish my guys would respond. There's like a six second delay. Six seconds, maybe. I would love to, uh, just put these guys on stand ground. That sure would be nice. <coughs> Ooh, wait, uh, can I shoot those? Is that the I wonder. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. We'll find out. Yeah, I have a Lombard Tower now because I've gotten enough, uh, enough kills. Oh fuck, I, I didn't see that he has a... He still has his, his Templar guy. Oh, I can shoot that saboteur, interesting. Okay, it looks like he's dead. That's actually... Ooh, the wall is too strong! I really have to kill that, that, uh, that damn Templar, or I'm gonna die. But it just allows his Templar too strong. The lag has made this match very, very difficult. I think I'm dead. Oh well! Did you open it? I did. I can't even click my own tower. It takes like six seconds. Oh! Oh my guys to Oh, let me try. William Wallace is pretty legit. Uh, I made a big mistake uh, picking Britons and because I thought Robin Hood was over there. He's over there in Pathblood Heroes because uh, he was on the wrong side, so. It put me pretty far behind. But really, William Wallace just raped us this match. Uh, and. Yeah. Oh well. <laughs> This is fine, this is fine. No, one, no one's ever played this. Uh, this might be for, so I don't expect uh, any level of play. But it was a fun match anyway. Can't win them all. <laughs> Shit happens, yes. So yeah, Rampant Megatron made a lot of really, really cool maps. Uh, they used to play all the time. 
Uh, Pathblood has always been one of my favorites, and by Pathblood I mean Pathblood Heroes. I would like Pat normal Pathblood better, because I think that the, you know, the transition, you know, as your units get stronger and stronger over time, I think that's much cooler. Uh, but, uh, you don't have the con, which there's a lot of strategy with, and, uh, your base is a lot weaker, which I'm not a huge fan of. You can do a lot of cool plays with the, with the con, with, like, Pathblood Heroes, because of, uh, you know, he looks exactly like Tamerlane does, uh, for example, which is pretty funny. So you can, uh, put your con in there with Tamerlane, and you gotta really test the enemy micro to figure out, you know, which one is the enemy's great con. Uh, and, you know, keeping him alive and using the Great Con really carefully, microing him nicely, uh, can really make a huge, huge difference. And I guess you don't have that in, uh, Path Oh, well. GG well played. Uh, Bill Marini's and his, uh, silly William Wallace, uh, really definitely destroyed us. Mo being Mongols didn't really help him there. If he was Japanese, we would have been destroyed even harder, because that 25% attack speed. So, yeah. GG well played, guys. Hope you all enjoyed seeing something a little different. Uh, scenarios aren't gonna be, like, a regular thing on my channel, but, uh, figured, you know, just for a change of pace, I'd show off one of my favorite maps from back in the old days. So, you know, I'll probably, you know, do some things, uh, I'll probably show off CBA at some point, uh, as well as perhaps Path of Blood Heroes, Veteran's Blood, Grave Blood, etc, etc. Uh, well, I mean, I, I, you gotta micro the Genghis Khan, though, that's the thing. Wait, wait, Genghis Khan always stands on the front, right? What do you mean? Uh, well, anyway, whatever. You can all play it. Last time I checked, at least in regular AV2, you, there's no real way to tell the difference between Genghis Khan and Tamerlane without clicking on his picture. Uh, well, that and you noticing, like, which arrow does damage and one-shots your guy. <laughs> but I could be wrong. All right, anyway, I'll see you all in uh, just a minute to close the live stream, so thanks so much for watching. See you all in just a moment, and hopefully if you like this, uh, leave me a like rating. Uh, love you forever. See you all in just a minute. And uh, thank you so much for tuning into today's stream as well.